When it comes to streaming, overlays are a big part of your stream, not only trying to customize and create a unique experience, but to also stand out from everyone else and have engagement on your stream. Well, what you're currently looking at is what we're gonna be doing today. This is overlays.uno, and not only that, we have a whole bunch of other options that you can be able to customize and create, adjust them on the fly, and be able to control them not only from your stream deck, from OBS, as well as from your phone. Let's get into it and let's talk about overlays.uno and how they're changing the market for streamers and creators with their up and coming overlays. I wanna start by saying thank you to overlays.uno for sponsoring today's video and paying me to go ahead and show you everything that they're working on on the back end of overlays.uno. We're gonna talk about not only how to do everything you're seeing right now, how to set up all of this, but how you can customize it and use it for your streams and really kind of up the production quality of your streams. Before we talk about overlays.uno, let's talk about singular.live, which is the parent company that created overlays.uno for creators. They are the creators of being able to do this on big platforms like Twitch, MLB, they're talking about Paramount, ESPN, Warner Brothers Discovery, UFC, LinkedIn. They have done all of the overlays for them and worked and collaborated with them in some fashion. So when it comes to knowing how this works for a professional deployment, they know overlays and how it works. Not only that, the customization, which I'll show you in a minute. So what they've done is take all of this stuff that they've got and already you know, created great ways to use it and have turned it into overlays.uno and that's this web page and so there's a lot of stuff here we're going to break this down but this is the stuff that you can use on your stream right now this is live guys you can go ahead and do this and if you want to link down in the description it's not an affiliate link or anything like that i'll just leave you a link direct to them but when you look at this there's a whole bunch of opportunities not only do they have trending but they have the news that they put up there and then they have a hall of fame of things of creators who have kind of used and implemented stuff under their streams they've listed it down here at the bottom but let's take a look at the library and you'll see that there are 466 overlays that you can use and they've went ahead and filtered them on the left for different types of things that you can do lower thirds image loops you can use full screen stuff and you can also do panels some of these packages are really cool and i think this is where you might lean yourself as a creator or as a game streamer or something that you want to have kind of a unique just chatting situation things where you can actually pop up topics across the bottom things that you can actually do like i was using this one earlier the palladium and i really like this just because i you can change the color but i liked the blue that it came with even if you're doing other kind of streams you're actually doing you know poker or or anything like that. You can also do weather widgets, any kind of stuff you can do. This boxes that we'll show right here, if you're gonna do guests that you bring on, you do really dynamic things with having people on your show, etc. Really neat way to kind of just upgrade and up level your stream. Podcasts, really good applications here. So let's talk about how to customize it. And let me show you the ones that I was working on earlier. So once you find one, let's let's say this one right here, Stream Pack Lithium, you can click add to my overlays and then it will be over into your overlays. These are the ones that I have messed with and I wanna show you how these work. For example, here's this Stream Pack Palladium. This is the one that we were working on earlier. So let me open that and we'll show you what the customization looks like. So here's the customization for Stream Pack Palladium. And right now, all of the overlays are off. I can turn them on and toggle them and you're actually gonna see them in my window down here because I have them in my camera feed, but not on the main screen so we can show today, but you can see them as they're down here, right? What you can do is actually change all of the information that you have here and set up other opportunities and scenes so that you can just toggle them on, on and off depending on what you need. I'll show you. For example, this live bug here is the thing at the top that says Cinnabar Island because Pokemon. But what you can do is actually click these three dots and add a whole new opportunity. You can name it. We could just say this one, uh, New York. And then we can go in here, edit this, and we can say New York. We can say back to list, and I can actually toggle in between these. It's on Cinnabar Island. When I hit the play button, it'll change it to New York. It's kind of like thinking of a broadcast situation. It's easy to go in between, and with a little bit of setup, you can probably put in a lot of really cool things here uh, ahead of time for your stream. We can also do lower thirds. That's like the name right here, and they all have animations when you turn them on and off. You can make all of these adjustments, upload your logos, add it in, but in the same thing, you could add multiple names. So if you did have a podcast, you could easily just switch in between and toggle these. And by the way, once again, all of this is toggleable, not only through OBS, but you can link them through the token that you can grab right here, the Uno token, 
into your stream deck. And I'll show you that in just a minute. You can also do the ticker for this one, which is just adding some text, giving it a title. And that's the stuff that goes across the bottom. And then you can change all of the colors, everything. It's pretty interesting how this works. And then you also have the settings, which is just preview panel, preview window, theme, etc. So how do you get this to work? Well, up here in the top, you have your output URL. This is going to be what you put in OBS as a 1920 by 1080 kind of widget to be able to use. And once again, you need to use 1920 by 1080. You have a control URL. This is your OBS doc. And then you have your Uno token, and this is for your stream deck. All right, so here is OBS, and I want to walk you through everything that's happening. When I toggle on these overlays, you can see that it pops up into the bottom of the feed right down here at the bottom. Well, let's add them to where they're on the main screen. So let's add one here. Let's go ahead and do plus and we're going to choose browser and I'm going to choose the one that's already done, which is this overlay pack, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how I adjusted it. We'll make it full screen just so that you can see it on your screen. But from here, we can go ahead and click in and see that it is a 1920 by 1080 browser source. And all I've done is paste that output of this URL to have it on stream. I haven't changed anything else. There isn't any audio with this one necessarily, so I'm not going to click the control audio via OBS, but it is important to make sure it's 1920 by 1080. Now I'm in a 4K canvas, so all I did was just stretch it out to 4K, but I actually think it looks pretty solid. So I'm not worried about if it's too small or too big. Now up here, we have over here in this corner, we have the two control URL boxes. These are the things that we just saw but because it just has a token right up here, which is the copy control URL, same thing if we're in here, we can actually click copy control URL. That's where we can actually grab that and add it as a doc into OBS or even Prism Live if you're using Prism Live. You can add that in here and you can actually toggle them on and off just like you were if you were gonna be online. You can do the exact same thing and you can even choose which slot. Like for example, Right now it says New York. If I choose new slot, it'll change it to Cinnabar Island like I had before. I have new slot to change the name, but I didn't adjust it. Uh, but those are different things. And you can turn them off, you can toggle them, etc. The same thing with the socials. That was a really easy one. I'll go ahead and make sure you, I link all the ones that I use down in the description. But the social pop-up is where you just put down all of the socials and it will just toggle in between them. You can customize it by how long they stay on the screen, what's the size, et cetera, et cetera. Really neat. And again, you can just toggle them on and off. So now you might be asking the question of, well, how do you control them with a stream deck? Well, you go ahead and grab your stream deck, make sure you're signed in to your stream deck and everything's ready. Then you're gonna go to the Uno website, which is overlays.uno. And at the bottom, it says stream deck plugin and it'll say, uh, learn more, grab the Stream Deck plugin, download it. So what you'll do is you'll download the Stream Deck plugin, you can grab the icon set, and then just install that plugin by in, like clicking the install profile, it'll add it in, et cetera. And once it's done, you're gonna get that added as Uno overlays. And all it has is just one button, which is Uno control. But what's interesting about this is whenever you actually put in the API key, which is what you're gonna be able to copy, it will allow you to do all of these adjustments. Basically everything you could set up as a Stream Deck button and make all of your adjustments without even ever going back to overlays.uno. You can even adjust the JavaScript stuff and make all of the changes here. So what you do to be able to make this work is when you're in your overlay, you're gonna copy the Uno token. You're gonna to grab this up here. You're gonna go back to your stream deck. You're gonna click your button and then you're gonna post your specific token. And when that's done, it's gonna say, what is the action? Or do I wanna to toggle it, hide or show? I can even change the overlay field. We can go to the different slots, especially if we've added different things like that Cinnabar Island or New York. And we can actually toggle, go to the next slot, go to the next slot. We can do the slot by what number or name it is. So there's a lot of a lot of customization, and I'm sure you really, really smart people are gonna figure out something crazy cool. Please make sure you tag me over on Twitter, at Dark and Cyrus, or X, whatever it is. So much cool stuff that you can do with this, so make sure you do that. But you also have the overlay content JSON. And so you can see, here's the stuff that we saw earlier. And right now you can say it says, text Cinnabar Island. I could just change this text and have a whole bunch of these Uno buttons and without going back to Uno overlays, I could just change this stuff from right here, which is really unique and really interesting. So a lot of customization with this. And it's really, honestly, it's almost real time on how much it adjusts. But some of you might be like, I don't have a stream deck, but what can I do to have that really easy opportunity to turn them on and off? Well, 
This is Stream Deck Mobile, and you can download Stream Deck Mobile and download the Stream Deck app and use this on your computer. For iPhone, you get six spots for free, and they do have an app for Android. I don't know if you get the six free, and also you pay a subscription, I don't really know. But I know for iPhone, you get six free, and it's the same thing that you would see on the Stream Deck. So here are the buttons that I just made earlier, and I just copied them. Right now, you have the one that says Live. I'm gonna click that one, and that should toggle the one that's live. Then you've got the ticker and the lower third. And I've just turned all of that on from my phone. And especially if you're kind of far away and you're doing your kind of own like solo production, this is a really good way to do this. But in that same case, you could be in a production style facility send this API key to someone else or this browser source, they could be in a control room somewhere else watching you through a monitor and controlling your overlays on your screen while you're not having to worry about this. I think that the opportunities for this are endless, especially when it comes to kind of upgrading not only your production value, but giving you more opportunities to expand, to go into a different kind of team. You could use this to upgrade existing kind of podcasts to do something kind of over the top, but something that you're not seeing a lot on other people's broadcasts because this is newer to the market. And because it's a browser source, you can also use it on mobile streaming apps like the Prism Live mobile app that I just did a review on about a month or so ago. I'll link that down in the description. You could totally just use that same URL, paste it there and have the exact same kind of controls in stream that has this quality and these updates there. Really neat. I have, again, I'm just controlling all of this with my stream deck. I can turn them on which ones I want to have on, which ones I want to have off. It's just so interesting to turn them on. I think I'm going to fully implement this into my stream moving forward, especially the socials. This one's really cool and to just have it kind of continuing to run really nice guys. Once again, thank you to overlays.una for sponsoring this video. All of the links, even to the platforms and the ones that I've used in this video will be down in the description. I hope you go and check them out and see if it's something that you can implement into your stream. Really excited about where we are as creators. It seems like more and more companies are coming into the space, trying to not only kind of improve our quality of life, but also upgrade our production quality and value for either free or really low cost. And in this case, it's currently free. So go capitalize on it now, get it in your library and see where things go from here. I'm Brandon. Thank you so much for watching this video. Check out one of these two videos. I'm sure you're going to love them, especially this one where we talk about you, how you can go vertically live on YouTube and really capitalize on a lot of engagement right now. We'll see you over there.